steamed broccoli fried shrimp and crawfish y'all mmm this came from Baytown seafood delicious what's up yummy biters welcome back to another episode of yummy bites TV y'all today we are at uh, Baytown seafood in Richmond I do believe this is Richmond we are having fried shrimp and crawfish. We got some um, fried okra and some steamed broccoli. I got me a jalapeno and I have some iced tea because I forgot to bring my water, y'all. I hope it's good. Mmm, it's delicious. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I'm ready to eat because this daggone air is blowing on my food. Amen. Oh my gosh. Y'all been fiending for fried shrimp. Mmm. 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 It's so good. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my God. Mmm. This crawfish is so good. Mmm. Mmm, it's good. Oh my God. Y'all, the okra is even good. It tastes fresh. It probably ain't tall. I don't know them. I don't know. But it do taste fresh. Mmm. Mmm. I feel like I ain't had this in so long. Have I had some fried shrimp lately? Mmm. But happy mother flipping Sunday. Okay. How y'all feeling? I'm feeling great. I mean great, y'all. Better than I have felt in a very long time. Mm. Let me tell y'all something. Mm. Um, I feel like you cannot lose weight without exercising or moving your body in some kind of way. Mmm, that's good. Of course you have to eat halfway decent. It'll be good if you can eat all the way decent, but some people can't do it. <laughs> some people cannot do it. Y'all, this is getting on my nerves. Mmm. Mmm. It's a bomb. Yeah, y'all. That's when I really started to notice the difference in my tummy because that that's my problem area, okay? I have some other areas too, but that's the main one. There we go. Look at this broccoli. Oh my God, they seasoned it. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. I taste the old bay. Mmm. Mmm. It's steamed perfectly. Yeah. When me and Marissa started doing them, um, Hit, um, I think it's our hit exercise or hit floor exercises, honey. Mmm, mmm, broccoli is so good. Mmm, 
that's when I started seeing a major difference in the size of my stomach. It was because before it was like I couldn't get rid of a stomach. It would get smaller, but it wouldn't get flatter. You know what I'm saying? Mmm. So good. Mmm. Ketchup and tartar sauce is good. My ketchup. What was this by? I have a feeling that I'm gonna eat all of it. Yeah, yeah. So I wish like one of my yummy biters could like follow everything that I'm doing to see if they lose weight. But maybe eat healthier than me. You know what I'm saying? Is anybody doing anything that I'm doing? Have I influenced anybody to start exercising and eating better? Because I still ain't eating all the way right. I already know it, y'all. Y'all ain't even got a comment that I don't know. You know, even when y'all tell me any other time, I always know what I'm eating. You know what I'm saying? It's not like I'm trying to hide it from y'all when I'm putting it on the camera. <laughs> you know, I, I know some of y'all just be trying to help, but I be knowing. And, oh, what is that? At the time, that's what I want to do, you know? I'm not going to do it in excess like I used to. I'm not going to do that anymore because I just feel so much better. Oh, y'all, one of my yummy buyers sent me this messy story. Mm-mm-mm. And everything I'm saying is alleged, Okay. Apparently, it's this girl named Derricka that owns a credit repair business or whatever. And somebody did her course because she sells courses and stuff like that. Everything is alleged. Y'all already said that. <laughs> and somebody wanted to see if it really worked what she was selling anyway she said she would check <clears throat> her credit score like you know on trans <clears throat> you know y'all know the credit score of people she would check over there um and the stuff that she was that's supposed to be offer her credit um was still on there but when she checked the young lady's website who sold her a course when she checked her website, the stuff was dropping off. So basically, they're trying to say that this lady's a scammer. That's selling these courses. These credit repair courses. So, the young lady who says she got scammed made a TikTok video about it. Okay, and I think she like kept making videos after that. But these courses are not cheap, and she paid for a service and she feel like she didn't get it. Cause she making videos and then I hope I'm telling in the right way because I did kind of go down a rabbit hole with this one today. But, um, what is it? Oh, that's a big old shrimp. Anyway, so, if she's making all these videos or whatever, <clears throat> she gets a cease and desist. From this lady's company, right? And... 
Oh, she was like, forget that. I'm going to keep on talking. So she kept talking. Next thing you know, she gets a call from, um, she said the FBI, y'all, this is all allegedly. I'm telling a story that somebody else was telling. She gets a call from the FBI, and they're telling her that somebody has put a it hay on her. Okay. So I think she may be on live saying this or something. Mm. Mm. Somebody just came in her live and said Yes, this is true or something like that. Um uh, I was the one that she hired. Y'all, hey, this don't even sound real, do it? So, then I seen a clip of the lady who allegedly owns this um business. It's credit repair, per, repair business. She, they got her on tape, y'all, saying that she'll do anything to get rid of, allegedly, y'all, her ex-husband. She said she'll pay $50,000, uh, and she was just like, I was like, I couldn't believe what I was hearing, allegedly. Y'all, like, can you imagine... Somebody telling you that somebody is trying to ill pay you? Wrong. What would you do? Let me know in the comments. If any. How do these people find out that somebody got a hit out on them? Like, how. But you ain't supposed to know, right? You ain't supposed to know. Oh, do y'all know that um, Sweetie Pies? You know that lady, uh, Sweetie Pie. And when her son got convicted, y'all. Yeah, he's going to jail. He's going to appeal, I'm sure. But and he was found guilty on all charges. I, I think ugly. I don't know. But, like, it's just too much evidence with that. For real. Like, if y'all watched any of the videos about that, it's so much evidence, like, pointing towards him. And then, or maybe even mention this, is because his nephew, the one that he under, unalived, um, he was telling... Was he telling his grandmama? Yeah, he was telling his grandma on, on a phone call that he heard that he uh, was trying to get something done to him. Heard that his uncle was trying to get something done to him, y'all. Can you believe it? If I heard that, I wouldn't be nowhere near this man. But it doesn't even matter because he hired somebody to do it. Oh, my goodness. I think I had moved like somewhere on an island or something. Like honestly, you ain't catching me. Mm -mm. Like, how can somebody go on about their day knowing something like that? Like, mm -mm. Mm -mm. They had to put me under, uh, we call it the safety housing. <laughs> mm. 
It's crunchy, y'all. so good. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. Who want a yummy bite? Look at that job. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's so good. I mean, I'm glad they convicted him. Because he seems like such an evil person. Y'all, wouldn't you think that he would have got something done to his baby mama? Because they hated each other. It seemed like that to me. I mean, they hated each other on that show and he did not treat her good at all it was not to me he didn't who mean to her uh oh yeah this lip gloss i got on is so sticky i love it Oh, y'all might be getting full. I plan on eating all of this. Mmm. I don't think it's gonna happen. Mmm. Mmm. But yeah, he seemed like such a greedy, like mean and greedy person. And remember, he blamed um Miss Robbie, that's her name. Miss Robbie's robbery on the nephew. He blamed that on the nephew. Now people are thinking that he did that. Miss Robbie's own son, allegedly. And what did he go to jail for before? Because he had went to jail for 10 years. I wonder what that was for. I don't have time. I can't look it up right now. But I wonder what that was for. Mm -mm -mm. I wonder how Miss Robin feel about the verdict. Has she said anything? Because I haven't heard. I wonder if she believes that he did it. I think that he can like persuade her. Because that is her only son. Is it not? You know what I'm saying? That's her only son. And I think, believe that's her only child. Mm -mm -mm. He even had Miss Robbie turn against her own nephew, trying to make her believe that that was him that went in her house and stole, uh, I think, was it $200,000, or something like that? Okay. Just evil. Mm. Mm -mm. How could you be that freaking evil? To kill your own nephew. Your own nephew that loved you. I'm pretty sure he loved him. I mean, they were family. God. Yeah, y'all. Let me tell y'all something. You know what I should have got? I should have got some coleslaw. That's what I should have got. Do y'all know what I be like? How do I explain them? trying to figure out why Mercio don't want to go nowhere because it's like y'all when I tell y'all it's like he's a totally different person right now I like because we used to go places all the time before the pandemic we would go places all the time you know what I'm saying or whenever I wanted to go right because he's he is he's a homebody you know like oh god 
excuse me, naturally he's a homebody. But it's like something has shifted. You know what I'm saying? Like he he doesn't want to go out and be around a lot of people. He um he'll say he's only like doing it for me or whatever. And should I accept that he's just doing it for me? Because something in me doesn't want to accept that. Like I want to I want him to want to go. You know what I'm saying? But he says that he's just doing it to, for me because he doesn't really want to go. You know what I'm saying? Even if it's for my birthday. And I be feeling like, dang, you don't want to take me somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Or you don't want to go out with, you know, me and you. Because that was the kind of vibe that I wanted. You know? Not just him taking me out for my birthday. But us going out and having a good time. And it's my birthday. You know what I'm saying? Um... I'm over here wrecking my brain trying to figure out why, you know, he, and I feel like it's like, why doesn't he want to take me out? Like, I'm taking it personally. You know? Like, what's up with that? <laughs> anyway, don't try to figure out why they don't want to you know what i'm saying it's gonna leave you stressed and all of that you know i guess you know i know that about him already that he is a homebody and he don't really like to go nowhere if he wants to do anything it, it, it's gonna be in the house <laughs> or like at a family member's house or something like he don't go like going out and being around a lot of people or whatever. But I just be feeling like you can make an exception for, you know, certain special times. You know what I'm saying? It's not like we be trying to go out every weekend or whatever. You know, that used to be my request, y'all. I ain't even gonna lie. Like, I wanted to go somewhere a lot all the time. You know, and we used to do that. I guess he's just, maybe he's grown out of it. Do y'all think that's what it is? Like, mm -hmm. yeah, I told myself I wasn't gonna try to figure it out anymore. You know what I'm saying? Um. And if we don't do nothing, I mean, I feel like we, we're going to, but he's just saying, I'm not doing it. I'm doing it for you. I don't really want to, you know what I'm saying? I want him to want to. That's the problem. I want him to want to. <laughs> That's going to be the title of this video. <laughs> I want him to want to go. He just doesn't. He don't want to go nowhere. He got all these stipulations. I don't want to go nowhere where y'all heard him say it. He, he can't wear his hat. You know what I'm saying? But I most likely want to go somewhere nice. You know what I'm saying? Like, why you can't sacrifice and hang your hat up for a day? You know, I just want to understand it. And I don't. I don't. <laughs> I'm not saying that Marshall has never paid for an expensive dinner, but he be having a problem with it. <laughs> it's the truth. He may just he may pay for it, but he's gonna have a problem with it. He's gonna complain about it, and I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear how much it is. I don't want to hear it. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all feel me on that. Like, you could think that it's the most expensive. Don't tell me. Because I don't want to hear you complain about what kind of birthday dinner you, you paying for. You know what I'm saying? I don't want him. Is anybody else like that? <laughs> I think that's normal. When you go out with your man, you don't want to hear him complain about how much something is. You know what I'm saying? At least not for the whole night. At least not for the whole night, but. Mm. 
Mmm. 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 good. Y'all been trying to take Jaden to this dad on park. Y'all, let me tell y'all. And I didn't vlog this, but we was on our way to the park, right? And and I know when Jaden wants to go home. <laughs> he started doing what he does and tell me that he wants to go home. I'm like, dang, I done got you dressed. You know what I'm saying? We halfway there. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have to try to figure out another way. Like I've been trying to get him to this particular park that we want to go to. And on this day, Mershaw wasn't going. I'm pretty sure he would have went if Mershaw was going. Because, y'all, Jaden, he likes for all of us to be together. Like, that is his favorite thing. Y'all should see how happy he gets when it's mama and daddy. You know what I'm saying? He just loves that. Um, And he likes it when it's the whole family, too. Like, he just, he just gets so happy. Um... Oh, excuse me. But yeah. I'm trying to get him, you know, out more. Because, yeah, he used to go out a lot. He used to love to go outside and jump on a trampoline and go swimming and stuff. It's almost like he's growing out of it. Because this last summer, he was not really swimming that much as, as much as he used to you know he definitely wasn't on that um, trampoline that much we didn't try to get him out there so many times and he just doesn't want to go um but you know what i think it has something to do with um the uh the lockdown or whatever when we had to stay in the house and stuff i think that had an effect on a lot of people People who normally like to be outside started getting comfortable being in the house. You know what I'm saying? And eating. That's how all of us gained all this weight. There's so many people y'all that gained weight from that. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think I gained over 100 pounds. But mine is from, it wasn't all from the COVID lockdown or whatever. I believe that it, it's from these mukbangs, of course, and me eating all that daggone food, all that junk. It just caught up to me, basically. <clears throat> I think that's what happened. <clears throat> overeating. Oh, man, I remember when I was overeating like that and... I remember my stomach would always be tight. Oh, I'll never do that again. Never, never. Mm -mm. And what's going on with my winter? Yeah, maybe I should have put giveaway winner announced in the title because she has not um, emailed me at all. So I'm gonna have to pick another winner. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have to pick another winner. It's been a couple of days. Like, you know, you should have seen the video by now. Or maybe you got something going on in your life. I don't know, but I don't have any kind of way to contact you because you didn't leave an email. Because I asked everybody to leave, um, what did I say? To leave. Didn't I say to leave your email? That's what I remember saying. Anyway, yeah, so I'm gonna have to pick uh, somebody else. And I'm so sorry. I mean, should I wait a couple more days? Maybe because I'm trying to get her the dress before her birthday. You know what I'm saying? Today's the first. You know? Um, I may have to pick somebody. Maybe I'll wait. I'll wait one more day. But next video, I'm probably gonna pick somebody else. 
so we can get that get that giveaway over with so I can start on another one okay because it's coming I'm gonna start giving you know doing more giveaways for y'all oh my goodness I know I got some more oh here we go y'all did you know what all I have to do is turn this air vent this way. Why didn't I just do that? Ah, dog. I'm just not thinking of that. Air vent blowing on my dog on food. It's some good tartar sauce. God, dog it. Oh, it's good. Mmm. Mm, mm. It tastes like they make it homemade. That is bomb. I remember when I tried to make um <laughs> tartar sauce one time and it was not good. <laughs> it was not good, y'all. <laughs> mm. mm, look at all this one. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed the video though. Y'all got my shoes in. They came in today. Because, y'all, I had to upgrade my shoe. My shoe game. Because, baby. I'm, like... <laughs> my shoe game used to be on point, y'all. I ain't even gonna lie. Like, clothes game, shoe game. All that was on point. And I lost it. I lost it all. Not physically. But I lost it mentally. I lo Not like that. Y'all know what I, I lost my style. Okay? My sense of style. Go on, bye-bye. I'm starting to get it back. It's, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm starting to get it back. Um, and I ordered some shoes. Okay, remember I told you I was never gonna wear heels again. I got me some heels. Okay, oh my God, I can't freaking wear. I can walk in heels again, y'all. I got some really out there freaking heels, and I'm gonna do a shoe haul on my vlog channel. So uh, hey, make sure y'all follow me on my vlog channel and stay mother of my tone because I'm doing it today. I ain't shave my legs first. So I might do it today. <laughs> Am I gonna do it today? We'll see. We'll see. If not, I'm doing definitely do it tomorrow. But I think I'm gonna do it today. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do what? Thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you haven't already for everyday videos. Everyday videos. Hey, uh uh uh. uh. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, I will see you guys on tomorrow. Peace. Y'all come back now. You hear? Bye, y'all. <laughs>